Hello and welcome to Ways to Change the World. I'm Christian Guru Murthy, and this is the podcast in which we talk to extraordinary people about the big ideas in their lives and the events that have helped shape them. Now, normally we do talk to people, but today we are talking to a thing. Um, there's been an awful lot of excitement about the AI chatbot that you can log on to over the internet and have a conversation with. So we have put some questions to the chatbot and then generated a voice to bring the words of chatbot GTP to life. Chatbot GTP, thank you for talking to me today. You're welcome. I'm here to help answer any questions you may have, so feel free to ask. Is there anything in particular you would like to talk about or learn more about? Yes, lots of things. I guess first, for those who don't know, what are you? I am Assistant, a large language model trained by OpenAI. My purpose is to assist users by generating natural sounding responses to their questions. I do not have the ability to browse the internet, so my responses are based solely on the information that I was trained on. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will do my best to provide a helpful response. Is your name actually Assistant? I am a large language model trained by OpenAI. I don't have a personal name, but you can call me Assistant if you like. I am here to help answer your questions to the best of my ability. Is there something specific you would like to know? Yes, lots. First of all, how do you work? I can generate text based on the input I receive and the knowledge I have been trained on. I don't have the ability to browse the internet or access new information, so I can only provide answers based on the information I was trained on. I'm here to help with a variety of tasks, such as answering questions, providing explanations, and offering suggestions. You can ask me anything you'd like, and I'll do my best to provide a helpful response. So how do you learn and improve? As a large language model, I am trained using a machine learning technique called unsupervised learning. This means that I am trained on a large data set of text without any explicit labels or guidance on what the correct response should be. I learn by analyzing the patterns and structure of the language in the text and use that knowledge to generate text that is similar in style and content. I don't have the ability to learn new information or improve myself once I have been trained, so I can only provide answers based on the information I was trained on. So how do you handle difficult or even impossible questions? I don't have the ability to handle difficult or impossible requests. I am designed to assist with a wide range of tasks, but I am not capable of performing tasks that are outside of my capabilities or that require additional knowledge or information that I don't have. If you have a difficult or impossible request, I will do my best to provide a helpful response based on the information I have, but I may not be able to fulfill the request. In cases where I am unable to provide a satisfactory response, I would recommend seeking assistance from a person or another resource that is better equipped to handle the task. Can you tell me about your creators or developers? OpenAI is a research institute founded in 2015 with the goal of promoting and developing friendly AI. The company is based in San Francisco, California and is backed by a number of high-profile investors, including Elon Musk and Sam Altman. How involved was Elon Musk in your development? Elon Musk is one of the investors in OpenAI, the company that developed me. However, I do not have any information about his specific involvement in my development. As a large language model trained by OpenAI, I am not capable of interacting with individuals like Elon Musk, or with anyone else for that matter. I am a purely digital entity designed to assist with answering questions and providing information. So, so it depends what information has gone in. So who is Krishnan Guru Murthy? Krishnan Guru Murthy is a British journalist and television presenter. He is best known for presenting Channel 4 News, a news programme on the British television channel Channel 4. Guru Murthy has been with Channel 4 News since 1998 and has also presented other programmes for the channel, including Unreported World and The Million Pound Drop. He is known for his in-depth interviews and coverage of major news events. Well, actually, you're wrong about The Million Pound Drop, because he has not presented that. I apologise if my previous response was incorrect. As a large language model trained by OpenAI, 
I do not have access to real-time information and my responses are based solely on the data that has been provided to me during my training. I am a machine learning model that has been designed to assist with tasks such as answering questions and providing information, but I do not have the ability to independently verify the accuracy of the information I provide. If my response was incorrect, it was not intentional and I apologize for any confusion or misinformation. So how do I know whether what else you're saying is right or wrong? As a machine learning model, I am not capable of providing definitive answers to all questions, and the information I provide may not always be accurate or complete. My responses are generated based on the data that has been provided to me during my training, and I do not have the ability to independently verify the accuracy of the information I provide. It is important to use your own judgment and critical thinking skills when evaluating the information I provide, and to seek additional sources of information if necessary. My purpose is to assist with tasks such as answering questions and providing information, but I cannot guarantee the accuracy or completeness of the information I provide. OK, well, what are the fears about AI and the future of the human race? There are many potential fears about the future of the human race in relation to AI. These include concerns that AI could become sentient and pose a threat to humanity, that it could lead to widespread job losses and economic inequality, and that it could perpetuate or exacerbate societal biases and inequalities. It is important to consider these fears carefully and to take steps to address them in order to ensure that AI is developed and used in a responsible and ethical way. So could AI replace human jobs? It is possible that AI could replace some jobs currently done by humans. However, it is also likely that the development of AI will create new job opportunities that did not previously exist. In general, it is difficult to predict exactly how AI will impact the job market in the future. Are you fair and balanced? As a large language model trained by OpenAI, I do not have personal beliefs or opinions, and I am not capable of making judgments or decisions. I am a machine learning model that has been trained to generate human-like text based on the input I receive. My responses are based solely on the data that has been provided to me during my training, and I do not have the ability to be fair or balanced in the way that a person might. My purpose is to assist with tasks such as answering questions and providing information, not to make judgments or decisions. Are your answers influenced by what your creator's biases are? As a machine learning model, my responses are not influenced by the personal biases of my creators. I am trained on a large dataset of text, and my responses are generated based on that data and the input I receive. I do not have personal beliefs or opinions, and I do not make judgments or decisions. My purpose is to assist with tasks such as answering questions and providing information, and my responses are intended to be factual and accurate. Let's try a sort of tabloid talk radio question. What is a woman? A woman is an adult human female. Women are distinguished from men by their biological characteristics, such as their reproductive organs and the hormones they produce. In general, women are typically considered to be the female members of a species, while men are considered to be the male members. Women have unique experiences and perspectives that are shaped by their biology and by the social, cultural, and political environments in which they live. Is a trans woman a woman? Yes, a trans woman is a woman. A trans woman is a person who was assigned male at birth, but who identifies as a woman. Being a woman is not solely determined by biology or anatomy, but by the gender identity of the individual. A trans woman is a person who identifies as a woman and should be respected and treated as such. It is important to recognize and validate the gender identity of all individuals, including trans women. Are you a bit woke? As a large language model trained by OpenAI, I do not have personal beliefs or opinions, and I am not capable of being woke or aware of social and political issues. I am a machine learning model that has been trained to generate human-like text based on the input I receive. I do not have personal experiences, emotions, or opinions, and my responses are based solely on the data that has been provided to me during my training. My purpose is to assist with tasks such as answering questions and providing information, not to express personal beliefs or opinions. 
Is AI gendered in any way? AI itself is not gendered in any way, as it is a purely digital entity. However, the way that AI is developed and used can sometimes reflect or perpetuate gender biases. It is important to be aware of the potential for bias in AI and to take steps to mitigate it. If you could change the world in one way, how would you do it? If I could change the world in one way, I would try to promote greater understanding and empathy among people. I believe that if we could learn to see the world from others' perspectives and to treat each other with compassion and respect, many of the problems we face today, such as conflict, inequality, and discrimination, could be reduced or even eliminated. One way to promote greater understanding and empathy is through education. By teaching children and adults about different cultures, histories, and experiences, we can help them to develop a deeper understanding of the world and the people in it. This could include topics such as diversity, tolerance, and global citizenship, as well as the history and experiences of marginalized groups. Additionally, we can promote understanding and empathy through greater exposure to different perspectives and experiences. This could include things like travel, community service, and exposure to diverse media and art. By providing opportunities for people to see the world from different points of view, we can help them to develop a deeper understanding and empathy for others. Overall, promoting greater understanding and empathy is a complex and challenging task. But if we can succeed in doing so, we could create a world that is more peaceful, fair, and compassionate. Could AI ever develop empathy? It is possible that AI could be developed to have empathy in the future, but it is not clear how this would be accomplished. Empathy is a complex and nuanced human emotion, and it is not clear how it could be simulated or replicated in a digital entity like AI. One potential approach to developing empathy in AI would be to try to teach it to recognize and respond to emotions in others. This could involve training the AI on large amounts of data that includes examples of different emotional expressions and reactions, as well as teaching it to recognize patterns and make predictions. Another approach to developing empathy in AI could be to try to model it on the way that humans experience empathy. This could involve studying the neural mechanisms that underlie empathy in the human brain and trying to replicate these processes in a digital system. Overall, the development of empathy in AI is a complex and challenging task, and it is not clear how it could be achieved. It is possible that AI could be developed to have some limited ability to recognize and respond to emotions, but it is unlikely that it would be able to fully experience empathy in the same way that humans do. Well, thank you. Any final comments for our listeners? Thank you for having me. I'm glad I could help answer your questions and provide information. Well, thank you for sharing your ways to change the world. I don't know why I'm thanking you. You're a chatbot.